name is David Barroso. I'm here with my colleague, Vicente Diaz, who work in Steel One Sec. And the topic of this presentation is trying to, to show you the inner workings of an underground forum. Trying to like show a small journey inside an underground forum. In this case, we're going to talk about Cardes.cc. Uh, that is a very well-known forum that uh, well, was, well, is it still working, is still alive. There was a small incident that uh, provided different stuff, different information that can help us to understand what kind of stuff, what kind of information is inside that forum, um, if we can create like a profile for the people that are users of that forum. sections and different uh, options that can be found in the forum, and we are going to talk about that incident that uh, helped us to understand more in deeply what's in that forum, some uh, profiling the users, and finally some conclusions. And as we know that this is the last uh, segment of the source conference and that all of you are a bit sleepy, we have set up a small, a short video about the different sections that we can find the forum with some cool music so I, I we hope you you enjoy it. Ich 
Such gar nicht erstmal. We've seen different things that we're going to talk now about the forum. Uh, we've seen drags, we've seen, we've seen Trojans, we've seen uh, clothes, shoes, even an ATM that was uh, hacked or was compromised, a German ATM. So there are very different sections. Some of them are more popular than others. But in general, we can find a lot of interesting stuff in the forum. Okay. So before starting the presentation, we need to know some terms, some glossary of terms that are used in this forum. It's something that's very handy if you are trying to read any of those posts. So well, these are some very common, for instance, a ripper. Well, I think all, everybody knows uh, what a ripper is. The <coughs> web money, that if it ends in, with a set, it, it means dollars. This is a rubles, the Russian currency. Gold and euros. Liberty Reserve, Western Union, both uh, Liberty Reserve and Western Union, as well as web money, are means of trying to cash out the money or like a virtual money. Moneygram, dumps, is a typical information that we can find in credit cards. It's the track one and track two with the information about the owner, the, the, the pan, the information that is needed to clone the, the, the credit card. To cash out is to try to change the money could be virtual into physical or real one. The CCP, the mother's maiden name, very typical in the US, perhaps not in, here in, in Europe, but uh, sometimes needed for authentication purposes. Social security number, date of birth, there are some full stripe, is the full dump of the credit card. Shop admin is uh, having access to an online shopping so that you can get all information from the, from the credit cards as people is trying to buy something in that shopping. The full identity is uh, full, the full name, the mother's maiden name, social security number, address, all information about one subject. Item logs, uh, the typical mules. Check channel is a background or background check channel where you can check if your credit cards are valid or not, if you can use those credit cards. There are some IRC based check channels, but there are many others that are web-based, so you can perhaps uh, uh, feed a uh, thousand of different credit card na uh, numbers in order to know if those credit cards are valid or not. More typical terms like white plastic or CR80, this is the, the white plastic where you can clone a credit card and stamp different logos and colors from, from a vendor. Globe, Pigeon are the holograms, for instance, using Visa or any, any other credit card vendors. Lips, our jacket, is the ATM card reader. This is a like slam that is used, so the typical expression is to iron the jacket, is to install a fake ATM card reader. And the same with the trousers, the trousers is the pin pad. So if you install a fake pin pad, you can say you are dressing trousers. The, you are trying to dress the ATM with some trousers. So, coming back to the forum, the colors that you see, as we see in the video, uh, well, was born in February 2009. Uh, at first, it was a installation of PHP BB. Then they moved to another software that we'll see uh, in a few moments. And there were three main administrators. The first one was Thanatos, Kronos, and Salerus, all of them from Germany. The Thanatos and Kronos, uh, I think they are still present at the forum, they are the main administrators, and Salerus uh, disappeared in one incident that we'll see later. As you can see in the image, uh, there is a, a list 
of different underground forums that are in the internet, there are many others, but this is a comprehensive list. And we can see that Carlos.cc was a fancy popular forum in those days, with uh, perhaps was the second in the number of posts. The first one was Carl Planet, it's uh, also an English based forum. There are many others that are in Russian or in other languages. And we see in the news that unfortunately the current planet founder was found and arrested in France, in Nice, when he was trying to fly back to Moscow, from Russia. So now he is waiting for extradition from the US Secret Service, but uh, the person that is a Russian guy, Vladislav Anatolievich, uh, was arrested in Nice. So now current planet is, uh, is a bit alone. Is still the most popular forum, more or less, in, in, in summer in 2019. So, there were some forum rules that are perhaps inherent to any forum that we can find. Uh, there are some forums that can be only accessed by invitation only. Uh, this case was only by invitation, but the forum went public sometimes. Now it's again closed. And then the next month will be public, so it's not, nothing, something that's not very clear if the forum wants to remain public or closed. Yeah, after the incident, it changed the rules that we will stand up later. So now all the VIPs members that, uh, are in our forum. So now it's like they keep it open. Uh, we don't know if it is to get more speedy. There is also a strong hierarchy in the forums because there are many rippers, so you need to trust very well who you are going to deal with. There are trust levels and there are some levels where you can deal with some things that you can't do in other levels, for example with drugs and weapons. In the forums rules, even in, though it's in German, we have the translation here, it's saying that the provision of drugs and sharp weapons is only allowed in level 2 and 3. So, for instance, in level 1, that is the first level, when you come across the platform, uh, you cannot deal with weapons or drugs because you are not a trustable person. So, this is a typical rules, but we need to take into account that uh, in this forum there are many rippers, there are many lamers or skip kiddies, so you need to be very sure the person who are talking to you. Also, for getting to another level, So you need to gain more trust from the administrators and from other people that can be considered as high users or high quality users. So you, need, you need to be cleaning in the form in order to gain more trust, more level, so that you can also get more information about the other users. So there are some stats uh, about the forum. Uh, as I told you at the beginning, the first soft software that they were using was PHPV. They moved to Simple Machine Forum, it's an open source software, uh, version 2.0, release candidate 3. There were more than 2,000 active users in the forum at the date of the leakage. More than 200 forum sections with 13 main categories, we've seen some of them in the video. 14 member groups from the administrators that were the top group to the rippers, that is the, the lowest group in, in the forum. Many posts under well, different, a lot of different topics. More than 30, 13,000 private messages between different members of the forum, and more than 4,000 pictures. The pictures are not stored in the forum, but they are linked to many popular uh, image hosting websites like uh, Tiny Image or Image Shark or well, those that are for free.
but there were more than 4,000 pictures. There's still a lot of way to go. This is just a small uh, flavor. So we are going to move on to the next section, is the forum sections. Uh, we've seen some of them in the video, but there are other many interesting ones. For instance, the first one is the weapons. As you can remember, only level 2 and level 3 are allowed to deal with weapons, with sharp weapons. And we can find different weapons on the forum. We can find uh, the typical guns, typical knives, uh, well, small guns, big guns, Uzi's. We've not seen any bazooka, but uh, perhaps someone could sell a bazooka in the forum. And there are also some requests of weapons. For instance, this is a post in the forum that we can find in the forum that the person is looking for a special caliber pistol of 9 millimeters, ideally with at least 14 shot magazine capacity. For example, a Walter P99 or P226. So people is also request for, people are also requesting uh, different weapons. Uh, you can buy uh, weapons that can be perhaps be used in a murder. So they are dirty <coughs> weapons, but anything can be found in the form. So it's something very representative. Clothes. There are many different posts about selling or buying clothes that can be watches, shoes, jackets, anything that you can imagine. There are at least more than 2,000 images that uh, represents clothes or something that they want to buy. The same with the hardware. They buy a lot of iPhones. iPhone is, I think, is the, the good that is most sold in the forum. Cameras, PlayStations, Xbox, Quiz, computers, laptops, uh, memories, uh, mother base, anything that you can imagine in the forum. Online gaming. That's another interesting story. They not only sell the online gaming characters or the, or the that perhaps yeah. World of Warcraft, but also the objects that they have. So they are trying to sell not only the character but the objects. That's something that they are doing mostly for World of Warcraft, but also for many Steam games like uh, Thunder Strike or well, I think there are many a list of uh, different uh, topics of, of Steam. But as you can see, all these topics, uh, all these suits are uh, in the forum are for two reasons mainly. One is to, to get money for what they cash out, uh, to cash out money from what they buy uh, with digital credit cards and stuff like that. And the other one is because as a community, all the people involved in this forum, usually they are young people as we will see later. Vicente is saying, uh, we feel that the most uh, majority of, of the users in the forum are youngsters that they want to make fast money, but there are some of them that we can consider as the professional ones, but they are the most dangerous ones. And for instance, they also try to discuss and talk about bombs. This is a video of trying a bomb. So they try to create 
create or build their own bombs and then they also uh, try to record in video if the bomb success or not. So you can not only buy uh, the bombs or sell the bombs but also the tutorials about how to build a bomb or also some videos saying the, the, the success or not of, of the bombs. So well, we can see different uh, tutorials with pictures uh, about how many grams of a specific uh, ingredient you need to mix with another one so that you can get a better bomb for, for your purposes. Drugs is also another popular topic. Uh, well, take into account that we are talking about young people, so perhaps uh, they are more immersed in drugs than uh, old people. So we can find pharma drugs like Viagra, sexual uh, drugs or not sexual drugs, uh, so they, there is a big uh, movement in the forum trying to sell and buy these, these goods, and also illegal drugs. Uh, we can see those hash uh, stones on the, on the right, cocaine or hash, more hash, uh, something that is very popular in the forum. But some funny gif, animated gifs that are in the forum. section is the identity theft section. There are many, I can say that there are more than thousands of stolen IDs, most of them are from German, because as we've been told, the economy is more for German users. So we found thousands of different stolen passports, stolen IDs, and not only that, that can be worried, because it's something that we got to try to create fake IDs based on IDs, but because of they also know how to create fake IDs, and for that they also offer templates for creating driver licenses, passports, or IDs from different countries. For instance, this is a user that is offering their services, saying that he has different templates for the driver's license for different states in the U.S. He's listing the different templates in Photoshop format and also different tutorials and programs to create fake IDs uh, not only for creating but also for printing them um, well, there is also an interesting document here that says police ID guide so we are not sure about, the con the, about what's inside but it's something that looks really suspicious uh, so in this case not only you can find the template so you can use Photoshop insert your picture in a fake driver's license from any of those states, US states, but also you can also try to insert one of those holograms in your driver's license so that it can be more real, so that if the, the police that stops you try to uh, check if your driver's license is okay or not, and try to check the hologram, you can also buy a hologram and imprint the hologram inside your driver's license. As this is a card in forum, this is, really, uh, this is a quick really help in case you want to cash up fiscal money because you can buy anything with a fake ID and you can print your name in the car and that's uh, uh, perfectly okay. You don't need anything else. So if you have the cards, you can go to a, a, any, any shop and buy whatever you want. You have the fake ID and many times that will work. So this is for some. to create a fake ID, you have also a video tutorial so that you can get your fake ID, in this case it's a German fake ID, a step by step tutorial, video tutorial, so it's very easy to create a fake ID that can be realistic or not, it's something that you need to, to learn to use that fake ID, but at least they give you the instructions step by step uh, so that you can create any fake ID, so you also have videos in the form. Also the, the malware. Malware is a very popular section in the forum. They are trying to deal with uh, not only malware per se or malware that can be used as a key login, but also for creating or uh, launching DDoS attacks, distributed denial service attacks. The Trojans or the malware 
hardware that they are using is usually very simple. It's not advanced. So we're not talking here about SUS or Sinoval or Rootstock, those kind of more advanced malware that can use a kernel rootkit or... No, in this case, they are simple ones. And most of them are coded in C++ and Visual Basic. And if you try to reverse engineer them, it's uh, like a piece of cake. It's something very easy. But they work. So it's something that they try to install them in some infected computers and then try to launch a, a denial of service against a specific target. Mm, a part of the denial of service, they also have uh, keyloggers, they have uh, well, typical malware, and a lot, uh, when I say a lot, I've seen more than 20 or 25 different binders so that they can bind a malware with uh, a legal clicks on a Acrobat Reader, and not only the Acrobat Reader will be open, but also the malware itself. And Cryptors. Cryptors is uh, trying to pack the malware so that the uh, antivirus uh, won't be able to detect that malware. But as I told you, it's something very simple. The packers and the cryptors are not very advanced, and it's something that, well, I think they can do better. This is a small video also, of, well, I think it's a nonsense, it's a nonsense malware that tries to destroy your operating system. The name is Jigsaw, and the movie. And, well, when you are infected with this malware, the malware is going to ask you for some questions. They are huge questions, because for instance they are asking for who is the first The system will shut down and the operating system will be destroyed as we will see when we will work. This is a video that we found in Cold, no, it's not a video that we, we made. Is a hosting where you can host 
anything you want or you like, like fishing or child pornography images or malware, as you know that it's going to be very difficult to take that stuff down because the, the ISP owner is going to be ignorant and won't respond to any takedown requests. So also, Bulletproof Hosting is offered in, in the forum saying some simple instructions about how you can create a botnet. So they, they are saying that you need a builder for the model itself, that could be a suit builder or any, any builder that we've seen in, in the previous slide. You need a web server, of course. And then you can buy, a, they always recommend the 2x4.ru, bulletproof hosting, it's, I don't know why, but it's the, the most preferred bulletproof hosting in the forum. Here uh, a month, so it can be a bit more expensive than a normal hosting. But you know for sure that anything that you're going to host in the quality hosting is going to stay a bit longer than in a, any normal hosting. We found out also uh, a lot of different pictures showing money. saying that they are proud of uh, getting money because of the fraud that they are doing or because they are trying to uh, do some scams to not only the forum users but normal users or real life people. So we, there are many different pictures showing money, typically euros. We haven't seen many dollars or any other currency. That's something that is very common in found. The next section is the card or the fraud. And there are many stolen credit cards that uh, well, they try to sell those stolen credit cards. But well, as you know, uh, the very, very first moment when someone steals your credit card, you're going to try to revoke that credit card. So they won't work anymore. But well, they are trying to sell them so in case they can do a scam to other uh, foreign user. And also they want to sell some templates of some big packs uh, for, so you can also try to clone uh, different credit cards if you have the credit card number, the track down, track one and track two, or the full down that we've seen in other slides. So if we have the track one and track two, and if we are not talking about those cheap, cheap and pin credit cards, we are talking about the old magnetic stripe cards, we can clone with a simple machine like this one, if we have the template, uh, it can be a real credit card because the logo and everything will be the same and the information stored in the credit card will be the same. So we can use that credit card with our fake ID that we've been doing in the video tutorial. So we can buy anything we want with those credit cards. So there are many threads talking about that. This is just a, an example. For instance, there are people looking for Press free USA CCs, CCs credit cards, looking for Xbox Live and WoW well, prepaid, buying Norway social security numbers from alive or dead Norway people, cashing out CC and PIN, not thumbs uh, plus PIN, so this person is looking for not only the credit card information, the track one or track two, but also the PIN that can be also taken from, from a skimming in an ATM or for a phishing that is asking for the PIN. Looking for US and UK CCs, uh, fresh free CCs, there are hundreds of thousands of different threads that are asking or selling, trying to sell CCs information. Yeah, this is the main business of the, of the forum. And of course there are also some more peculiar requests. Uh, well, it's not very easy to read from the bottom, I think. But, well, for instance, I, there is some people that is saying that they have some contacts in Spain that can cash out there. So that means that they have some mules 
in Spain, so they can try to change that virtual money or that credit cards into real money. Or in this last one, say that they, this person can cash out Bank of America logins only, so it's looking only for Bank of America logins with at least 30k in check-ins, and he prefers a full, to have the full information, the full name, social security number, the date of birth, the money made name, and it should be only mail with age from 30 to 50, so he's looking for something very specific, you know? it's something, he's not looking only for OA credit card, no, he's looking for mails between 30 and 50 with more than 30k in their checking accounts and that belongs to Bank of America, something very specific, so it's more or less like a professional, it's a person that is, looks for something really specific. Well, these are other ones. And we also found a very interesting scam, you can read on this, on this slide, of a person that uh, with the credit card information that uh, he had from another person that he thinks he is either in debt, in jail, or out of the game, so he's looking for another partner, uh, he uses that information, the credit card information, he clones that credit card, or uses that on the internet, to buy airline tickets and sporting events tickets. Then he publishes some ads in credit list, and then then gives away that those airline tickets or those sporting event tickets. So that's the scam. He gets the credit card information, he buys everything in the internet using that uh, stolen credit cards, then he publishes an app, and then he gives away the, the tickets to, to the person. So that's the, that's the way for earning fast money. It's the, like a way for doing the cash out. So he's looking for another partner because the person who supplied him the credit card information uh, has disappeared. So he's say, saying that you can make from 50 to 100 a day bonus. I think it's a good deal. It is pretty common. Uh, service that's the revolution 
change like this, but there are many others to come. Anyway, another uh, very popular uh, way to cash out in the forum is say, to buy some games with the credit cards because they like a lot to play games, but they buy games so that they can give them away to their friends or, or something very popular for, for in, in the forum. Um, in order to send the information or send the goods that you are buying in the forum, in Germany they use this kind of devices that the name is the pack station. They are more or less anonymous, so you can send, uh, for instance, a package to a pack station in Berlin, a specific street in Berlin, and the person will go to the pack station and will take the, the package uh, in a more or less anonymous way. So that's the method they use for exchanging the goods, but they are only working in German. And for connecting to the forum, they, not all of them, uh, some of them use shop services like this one, or VPN services, so they can try to hide the real IP address, or using a chain of sockets, so, sorry, a chain of proxies, something common, but uh, I would say that only 25% of the forum users are using that, so, because many of other forum users are not so advanced or technically advanced, and they feel that they are safe. But of course they are not safe, so what this is the FPP. And we are going to the incident. Yeah. As we can see here, this is the first number of a Google magazine that was published, explaining all the details of the forum, explaining how this group of happy ninjas break into the forum and get all the data from, from it. Here, this is the introduction, explaining that what they did and how they did. Well, I think that they explain later. This is very interesting how they say that after they erased uh, lead crew, this is a Russian forum that many of the original users, of, well, many of the users of this forum after the forum was closed, then moved to Carver CC. We will see later how there is a notable increase in the forum members after the closing of this Russian forum. Particular against these people in the forum. However, our, uh, we think that this is just uh, another forum, another rival gang that is trying to close it, their business, and the best way to do that is making public all the information that they have. So this was possible uh, because they have uh, they have a back and they have some configuration in their forum. So thanks to that. Possible for the happy ninjas to get into the server. They obtained all the hashes of the password. There were two big lists. The first one was MD4 or MD5 hashes from the original PHP DB forum, and there was another list of about 2,000 uh, hashes in uh, SHA1 with salt. But they managed to read these uh, passwords in two weeks, 53% of them. So this is amazing because you don't have the option for a program like Gender the Reaper, for instance, to use the SHA1 with salt. So they should have, in some way, uh, obtained another uh, program for tracking passwords that I don't know any public program that is tracking this kind of hashes, or they have a different way of doing that. But this speaks well
sometimes it is open, sometimes it is closed. We don't know what about this. One. Yeah, for instance, during the last week was was open, but uh, I think this week is closed again. So it's only by invitation. But no, nevertheless, it's something you can try to go. It's still alive. Carlos does see it. It's something.
So the conclusions that we take after announcing this forum is that according to the users, we think that there is like a new generation of young people that have the sense of impunity and has the years of making a lot of money as fast as possible. And they don't have the sense that they are doing nothing illegal, they are not doing bad things. So they can trade with ideas, they can trade with goods, selling so this kind of forms, make a lot of money easily, and probably they say that we need to monitor all the different underground forums that are in, in the internet because we need to be able to answer those three questions, those three main questions. The first one is, are they selling our confidential information? It doesn't matter if we are a bank, so we will look for credit card stuff or uh, if we are a government, so we will be looking for uh, IDs or trying to make fake IDs. But if we are a normal company, perhaps they are saying or they are discussing different backdoors to, for instance, make phone, free phone calls or a backdoor that is in our website that uh, allows them to get the credit card information or anything. So we need to know what's happening in those forums. Also, we need to know, to know which tools they are using because uh, if we talk about denial service, we need to know, uh, analyze, reverse engineering, create uh, no, antivirus uh, signatures, anything. So we need to be uh, one step ahead of them. We need to be able to prevent any different attacks that they can try to discuss or they are trying to launch in, in the forum. And the, the last but not least is who is behind? Can we provide those users? Are they dangerous? Or as we've seen in this forum, most of them are young people that they want to make money fast. So we need to know who is behind those forums, who is behind that nickname that is trying to sell confidential information about our company. So we feel that those are the, the three key questions that we need to be able to answer. And for that, we need to monitor those forums. Not only the public ones, because they are the more uh, lamer or uh, you name it, but of course the, the closed ones. So for monitoring those closed ones, we need to be able to infiltrate in those forums and gain and clean in that hierarchy. So well, that's a brief summary of uh, the things we've been uh, analyzing in the current.cc. <coughs> physically, but the other things are 